welcome to Chef on a Home. Today we're checking out some food trucks in the Y at Warehouse 3540. Hey, we're with John at Dark Roots Coffee in La Y. So I want to talk about your menu. Explain exactly what a, the cold brew is. Cold brew is taking over the world. It uses a lot of coffee. It's brewed over a lot of time, and it's either brewed with room temperature water or cold water. I do it with room temperature because I feel like it brings out more flavor. I do pour overs, so it's freshly ground. I use a scale for people that care about that kind of stuff. It, 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 it makes a big yeah. difference for yeah. uh, consistency. It does take a little bit of time, but good things take time. Absolutely, here's to that. No <laughs> kidding, it's the truth too. I just started doing avocados. What's it's it's that? espresso and ice cream. Oh, now, you, now you tell me, all right. Mm. Ice cream and coffee, make your day start right here, right now. Ice cream for breakfast, right? Not a problem. Can I just drink it? Oh, I'm doing it. Oh. So we're called the Fresh Shea because we believe we're a fresh take on Shea Ice. We use fresh and local ingredients as often as possible, especially because we are serving our own children. Our three and a half year old Kahlo comes with us every day, and his nap bribe is to get a Shea Ice. A nap bribe? Yep. Oh, perfect. We're one of two places on island that uses a hand crank. We believe it gives us better control over the ice, a fluffier right, texture. Certainly. Today we're starting with the Fu Manchu. It's our strawberry syrup topped with fresh strawberry puree, then sliced apple bananas and sweet cream. Ah, this is a sticker for later, kids. Okay. Now we have the Chevron, my personal favorite. This is our coconut and lime shave ice. May I? Wow, I win, I win again. Coconut key lime pie all day long. All day long. Absolutely. <laughs> Cheese seeds just rock. Yeah. If you can make it with cream, you guys are just winners. <laughs> it's funnier when it falls off. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So how'd you get your start? What made you stoked on making food and wearing, wearing cool t-shirts? My background is in biology and farming. And about six years ago, I really got into the application of science and food. Well, let's talk about this awesome burger. 80% chuck roast and short rib, and 20% bacon, and 100% awesome. That's where the that's name it, comes it. from. We've had people change their flight to come and eat Unreal. at the truck. I also had a 98-year-old man tell me that he's been eating burgers his whole entire life. It was the best burger he ever had. Fortunately, we have a great relationship with farmers, being my background in farming. Mm. We use a lot of local organic produce. No way. Ground bacon in here, that's called cheating. And the texture of it, the texture of it's perfect. Yeah, it is. It's a crumbly bite. When you bite into a burger, you want it to fall apart, but you don't want it to fall apart before you bite into that's it. That's right, that's it. Well done. <laughs> Successful burger, yep. my friend. 30 hours to do that, guys. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> I'm gonna destroy it in 30 yep, seconds. Yep, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yep. Now off to the next meal. Hey! 